But we begin tonight with some breaking news. A Fort Wayne City Councilman is under fire for reportedly threatening to have a police officer fired. 15 finds out investigator Alyssa Ivinson has been digging into all this all day long. So what have you learned so far? Well, I've been working my sources all day today, and it all started with a tip from someone in the police department. In the police report, Councilman Paul Ensley refused to cooperate with a police officer and threatened the officer's job. Now, this police report has the names redacted because no one was arrested. But the redaction is character specific and Paul Ensley's name is the only city councilman name to fit the hash marks. In this report, police were called to a domestic situation at a house on St. Joe Center Road yesterday morning. Ensley refused to give the officer his name in the report saying, quote, my name is city councilman Paul Ensley. I'm going to call Rusty York. I can call Rusty York and have your job. Now, York is the public safety director. At another point, the officer then said, quote, how would it look on the front page of the newspaper? A city councilman involved in a domestic with his face bleeding and scratches, threatening an officer. We did leave a message for Ensley on his cell phone. We have not heard back from him yet. He was not at city council initially, but we just got word that he just showed up. The meeting started at 530. We do hope to catch up with him at council tonight. We'll have more for you on Nightcast. Now, we've also posted this entire full, full, full police report on Wayne.com, so you can read the whole incident there. A lot more details in the police report. And we'll have more on Nightcast. Thank Absolutely. you, Alyssa. Well, all right, thank you. This is News Channel 15's Nightcast. There are new developments tonight in a councilman controversy. A police report says Fort Wayne City Councilman Paul Ensley threatened a police officer's job, but tonight he told us that is not the case. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson first reported the story at 6 and kept working on it all evening, even confronting Ensley at tonight's council meeting. Alyssa. Well, Republican City Councilman Paul Ensley has been on the job for only two months, now finding himself in the middle of controversy. Police reports saying he's trying to use his office to get out of giving an officer information. But new tonight, Ensley sends us a video he took that he says proves otherwise. Sitting at the council table, Paul Ensley's injuries clear, and he announces at the meeting that he was a victim of a domestic violence situation. I appreciate the, the courtesy and professionalism with which the Fort Wayne Police Department handles these matters. Thank you. But just hours after council, Ensley sent me an email calling the officer involved hostile. This after we confront him about the police report that says he threatened to get the officer fired. I can call Rusty York and have your job. You didn't say that? Certainly not. Why would the police report say you did? I have no idea. It, how did you get the injuries that matched the police report? I'm unable to comment on that at this time. Police called to a domestic situation at this house on St. Joe Center Road around 730 yesterday morning. Ensley tells us he took a video of that encounter. Confident that the uh, the uh, audio recording will shed some light on the situation. Can we get a copy of that? Uh, not at this time. I don't have it available, but um, I certainly trust that my attorney will make it available at the appropriate time. Thank you. And who's your attorney? Thank you. I have no further comments at this time. But then the email from Ensley, a video attached. This is Paul Ensley, a member of the Fort Wayne City Council. It's of a cell phone playing back a video of what Ensley says is that encounter with police, where the report says he threatened to call public safety director Rusty York and, quote, have the officer's job. Here's how the video plays that out. They're calling Rusty. Call Rusty, I don't care. Okay. You're covering scratches. Do you want me to get, play your game? I really that don't would want you like that to be the paper? Would you like that in the paper, that's city councilman, covering blood and scratches? Then don't me. threaten me. You threaten me. Don't threaten me with Rusty York. You got scratches on your face. She's obviously smacked you around. So don't threaten me. Would you like the city councilman to come on the paper? Did you got scratches on your face? And now you get caught in a domestic battery? I would not like that. Don't threaten me. So I don't know why we have to write a report. Don't threaten me, because I have to write a report. I can put that you refuse to talk to police. I'm Nothing not happens. You're talking to okay? me. Don't, you don't right tell now. me how to do my job. I'll give you a city councilman or not. Ansley wouldn't answer any more questions with me over the phone after we watched that video. I did ask him in an email what he meant when he said he would call Rusty York if that wasn't a threat, and he hasn't responded yet. Now, you can watch the entire video and see the entire police report and my full interview with Ensley all right now on Wayne.com. Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15. News at noon. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Today we are getting new details. After a Fort Wayne City Councilman is accused of using his position of power to try to get a police officer in trouble. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson has been following this story since it broke last night. She joins us live downtown with the latest on the story. Alyssa? 
I just spoke with Public Safety Director Rusty York a few moments ago, and he told me that an elected official dropping his name the way Councilman Ensley did is, quote, inappropriate. He also told me he understands why the officer involved in that exchange took those comments as a threat. Now, here's what happened. As we told you yesterday, Monday morning, police were called to a home on the north side of the city for a domestic situation. Councilman Paul Ensley had injuries to his face, and he actually ended up filing a domestic battery report late last Last night, but at the time on Monday morning, the police report says Ensley did not want to give the officer his name. And after a long time, he finally did. He said he was a councilman and that he'd call Rusty York over this. Well, last night at City Council, Ensley told me he never threatened the officer's job, and he had a recording to prove it. He then sent us that recording. Take a listen. I can call Rusty York and have your job. You didn't say that? Certainly not. Why would the police report say you did? I have no idea. I followed up with Ensley in an email last night and asked him why he said he would call Rusty York if he didn't mean it as a threat. He has not replied back to me with an answer about that yet. I also talked with Republican Party Chairman Steve Shine on the phone earlier today. He's actually meeting with Ensley for lunch right now to get more information about everything that happened. He didn't want to make any comments until he knew more facts. We do hope to hear back from Shine this afternoon. And we have team coverage working on this councilman controversy story for you. Sarah Wagner, Angelica Robinson, and I will all have new information for you tonight at 5 and 6. Live downtown, Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15. Alyssa, good job digging into this. Thank you. Good evening. There are new developments tonight in the case of a city councilman accused of abusing the power of his position. And tonight, Paul Inslee says his comments were misunderstood. He sat down with 15 Finds Out investigator Alyssa Ivinson today, and this is the second time you've actually talked to him trying to get some answers. That's right. I caught up with Ensley last night after city council. We showed him the police report where he was quoted threatening a police officer's job when the officer was responding to a domestic disturbance Monday morning. Ensley was adamant that he did not say that and that he had a recording of the incident that proved it. In Ensley's video he sent us, he does say he'll call Public Safety Director Rusty York, but he didn't say what the rest of the police report said, that he'd, quote, have the officer's job. Then this afternoon, Ensley spoke to me in more detail, saying he had requested a supervisor to be called to the scene and the officer did not radio one. He says that's why he told the officer he would call York. In the video, you can hear the officer take that statement as a threat. Now, I also sat down with Public Safety Director Rusty York today, and I asked him what he thought about Ensley dropping his name during an encounter with police. I can only say I, for a public official, I don't think that's very appropriate. That's, that's all I have to say. So you don't feel you were using your stature as a city councilman inappropriately? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Someone could argue that name dropping the high public official would be a threat without saying a threat. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Again, again, in no way was I threatening this officer. Um, you know, I had requested a supervisor to be there given the, the tone of the situation. And um, when no supervisor was called by the officer, I had request, I had just let him know that I would be contacting a supervisor, so. New tonight at 6, hear what the head of the Republican Party in Allen County had to say about Ensley using Rusty York's name. Also, hear what York thinks about the officer taking Ensley's comment as a threat. Alyssa Simonson, News Channel 15. Well, we begin tonight with new details from the councilman himself. He sat down with 15 Finds Out investigator Alyssa Ivinson and explained what some people are calling a threatening comment. She kicks off our coverage in Studio 15. Well, City Councilman Paul Ensley says his comments were misunderstood and he was not abusing the power of his position. I can call Rusty York and have your job. You didn't say that? Certainly not. Why would the police report say you did? I have no idea. That was last night after City Council. Paul Ensley denying threatening to have a police officer fired during a domestic disturbance investigation. Today, we sit down with Ensley. The words that came out of my mouth were different than the words that were... Um, written down in the police report. Um, you know, at no time was there any threat made. The police report shows Ensley said, quote, I can call Rusty York and have your job. A recording Ensley sent us says this. I'm calling Rusty. Call Rusty, I don't care. Someone could argue that name dropping the high public official 
would be a threat without saying a threat? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Again, again, in no way was I threatening this officer. Um, you know, I had requested a supervisor to be there, given the, the tone of the situation. And um, when no supervisor was called by the officer, I had request, I had just let him know that I would be contacting a supervisor. We watched part of the video again today with Public Safety Director Rusty York. In the video, you can hear the officer take Ensley using York's name as a threat. I wouldn't be surprised if that was what he thought. Ensley says the officer was being hostile, and if he did call York, he would have brought this video to him. We also got York's take on how the officer was acting. Sometimes, you know, you have to be somewhat forceful if, if people aren't forthcoming and I, I listening to the recording uh, that's what I heard the officer doing. Do you think the officer was too forceful or too harsh? Or hostile is the word Ensley used. No, I don't think so. But the center of the whole controversy, should Ensley have said York's name at all? For a public official, I don't think that's very appropriate. I think that was bad judgment. It is not appropriate to try to use your position in any way to finagle out uh, of a situation in which you may be uh, interrogated and maybe ask for information. Uh, but I can see where this may have happened under these circumstances. It was not Paul who was the perpetrator. Ensley says he was not abusing his position. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Now, last night, Ensley did file a domestic battery report in reference to Monday's incident. You can see that on Wayne.com. In Studio 15, Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15.